Hello, I'm Day Weather, meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this January 15, 2022, brought to you by WSR Insurance Services Incorporated and Ag Risk Advisors. Over the next week, it's going to be probably a pretty quiet week again. This will be especially true for California, the Great Basin states, the Desert Southwest, parts of the Northern Rockies, Central Rockies, and the Pacific Northwest. There'll be a little bit of weather going through, but for the second week in a row, nothing major. We do expect a pattern change back to cooler conditions and maybe better chances for precipitation late next week into the following weekend. The majority of the real stormy wintry weather is gonna be over the central and eastern areas of the United States as we go through the next seven days. That's where the real nasty winter weather will be. There will be a point in time where the stormy, colder winter weather will move back into the western United States, but for the next five to seven days, nothing too bad. If you were to look over the last week, the precipitation in the west has been focused in the Pacific Northwest and the far northern Rockies. This is where it's been heaviest over the last seven days. A lot more spotty or very little or nothing from Central California through the Southern Rockies, through the Great Basin states, with a little bit in the Central and Northern Rockies. But a fairly quiet week weather-wise, especially compared to the last couple of weeks. The precipitation anomalies show that below average precipitation over the last week in California, the Great Basin, and really a large part of the nation with the exception of the far Pacific Northwest in those northern areas. As we take a look at the latest drought monitor, we continue to see severe drought conditions continuing in Montana, a growth of the dryness in eastern Colorado, southeastern Wyoming, down into the southern plains here, while we continue to see some improvements in California and other parts of the Pacific Northwest. If we were to look at the improvement over the last week, the central mountains of Colorado and southern Wyoming have shown improvement. Drought conditions continue to worsen in some of the southern plains areas. And then you can see into the central and northern areas of California and some spotty areas in the northwestern United States, drought conditions have improved a little bit over the last week or so. Now, as we take a look ahead, this is what's coming this weekend. We'll have a storm system come out of the northern Rockies and slide into the Midwest and then curl up and head towards the East Coast. So what will happen is there is going to be a lot of very cold winter weather, a mix of rain, snow, and also ice into these areas here this weekend into early next week while this high pressure ridge right here, the jet stream goes up north into Canada. Well, that's going to bring quiet weather to California, parts of the Pacific Northwest, the desert Southwest, and the central and southern Rockies. And that trend towards fair weather will likely continue through the middle of next week. So nothing really looming large. That's going to be a big problem for livestock interests in the western states through this weekend, through the middle of next week. Now, longer term, notice that we start to see the jet stream curl back and take a dip further back into the west. This will still protect California and the Pacific Northwest from much weather. So this area here, by next weekend, still won't have much weather. But we may see the central and northern Rockies and even the southern Rockies get back to a colder northerly wind flow as well as maybe some precipitation coming our way. This is by next weekend. So we think that by the end of this upcoming week and by next weekend, and then take a look at maybe the week after that, some of this very cold stormy weather in Northeast and Central Canada may work its way further back into the West. So the end of January into early February is a time frame that we'll need to keep an eye on things. Taking a look at the seven day precipitation forecast, you can see that there's very little, there's not much precipitation in the interior west and across the west coast. We continue to see the far Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies get into the action. Lighter amounts in the Rockies of the central and the south, but very little on the plains here. But you can see all the color here. This is rain, snow and ice in the central and eastern United States over the next week to 10 days. And then you can really see the snow, the heavier snow centered on the center, center, central Great Lakes and the Northeast and the far Eastern areas of the United States, as well as Southern Canada. Now, parts of the Northern Rockies, parts of the Northern Plains will have some winter weather as well, but you can see very little snow in those far Western areas. Temperature wise for another week, the real cold air 
is going to be in the east. While these orange colors here represent near to slightly above average temperatures over the next week in the west. So the bad weather for another week is going to be focused east of us towards the Corn Belt, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast. But we do need to keep an eye on what happens after or around the 22nd into that last full week of January and into early February. That's likely where we're going to see changing weather again. Our next update will be the 22nd. Have a good week ahead, everyone.